Hello and welcome to the video. In this video, we'll go through step 18 of the SAP UFI walkthrough series. And uh, in this step, we will understand about icons. Now, SAP UI5 is shipped with a large icon font that contains more than 500 icons. In this step, we will use icons in our SAP UI5 application and we will use them in our button control and in our dialog control. To show you how the application would look like after making changes for this step, you can see that we have an icon here in our say hello with dialog button. And when we click on this button, we display another icon to the user in our dialog control. Now to achieve this, there are some code changes which are needed. First of all, as we can see that we have to add an icon in our button control in our hello panel view. Basically, we have to add this icon here in this button control. Therefore, we introduce this icon property and we mention the name of the icon which has to be used. Here, SAP hyphen icon colon forward slash forward slash. This means that the icon font has to be loaded from the SAP icons and world here. This is the name of the icon which has to be used. Now coming to our hello dialog.fragment.xml. Here in our dialog control, we add this icon here inside the content of our dialog. And here again in the SRC property, we provide the name of our icon, which has to be used in the conventions. It has been mentioned that always use icon fonts rather than images wherever possible as they are scalable without quality loss and do not need to be loaded separately. So it is always advised to use icons instead of images in our application. So these are the two changes which are needed to add icons to our button control and to our dialog control. And we can see that when we run the application, we can see this icon here. And when we click on this button, we can see the other icon, which we have used in our dialog control. So that's all about uh, this video for step 18. In the next video, we will understand about aggregation binding and we'll go through step 19 of the documentation. Thank you for watching the video and have a nice day.